okay then we'll start so in the previous uh, class we have talked about the aerobic respiration right sajan yes ma'am yeah so in that what happens sajan uh, ma'am we tell to live wherever it and notes are not getting them ma'am uh, ma i am not getting the notes ma'am written i written a written notebook but i am not getting it ah uh, no problem you can say uh, whatever you know right so here what will happen pyruvate will be broken down into carbon dioxide water and energy in presence of oxygen and it happens in the mitochondria okay and the organism which obtain this energy by the aerobic respiration right they cannot live without oxygen because if there is no oxygen so whatever they are eating whatever they get from uh, energy they cannot get energy from the food okay and the mitochondria is the site of aerobic respiration in the cells so this energy when it is released right in during this aerobic respiration they are used by the organism so where this aerobic respiration occurs right example humans dogs cats then earthworms snakes fish insects also plants okay now we'll go for the anaerobic respiration is this visible so what happens here here it is given an aerobic so this respiration happens without oxygen okay now in the anaerobic respiration the microorganism like yeast what do they do they break down the glucose right then after that they'll make pyruvate after that from pyruvate it is again broken down into ethanol carbon dioxide and energy okay so here how does this happen glucose from glucose from glucose to pyruvate the breaking down of glucose to pyruvate what what is it called shazam oh my god glycolysis right in the previous class we have talked hello rudranil so where does this happen it happens in the cytoplasm cytoplasm and after that this pyruvate again it will be broken down right into ethanol carbon dioxide and atp i have written 2 atp how much carbon dioxide 2 and how much ethanol 2 pyruvate like glucose one molecules like in the previous one here two molecules and where does this occur this occur in yeast right this type and it occurs in absence absence of oxygen two molecules of ethanol carbon dioxide and energy right so in the aerobic respiration how much molecules we are getting atp molecules the stored form of energy how much 38 but here in this case we are getting two atps only okay less energy from anaerobic respiration we are getting less energy and it happens in the yeast yeast is a microorganism right in the bread uh, when it is spoiled yeast will be growing okay understood and doubt here sajan no 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 doubts okay rudnil okay uh, so uh, we can also do experiment how how it is done like we can take sugar solution okay sugar solution in test tube okay and in that little yeast you can add okay then after that mouth you have to close with cork okay after that you have to keep it standing then after sometimes when you open it what will happen you will uh, smell something right there will be pleasant smell and it will be ethanols right and also gas will be evolved so how we, will you form, uh, find which gas it is so when you pass this step, test tube in the lime water what will happen you will get milky white color okay so this milky appearance in uh, in the test tube uh, test tube will change into milky milky color and so this will show that carbon dioxide is present 
presence of carbon dioxide okay understood so this experiment uh, tells us the this product of the fermentation of the yeast understood from pyruvate to ethanol carbon dioxide and energy right we are getting pyruvate is broken down into ethanol carbon dioxide and energy and this is this we call as yeast fermentation so how do we obtain energy how do we obtain energy we humans i mean us how do we obtain energy shazan what type of respiration um, none that is uh, when we and to gain what, energy yeah what type of respiration we have we have aerobic respiration right yes not this anaerobic but in certain circumstances like when you are doing a uh, um, vigorous exercise what will happen the muscles right they won't get oxygen okay so the blood will not be uh, able to um, go um, go inside that uh, muscles okay and uh, they will not get uh, oxygen because the oxygen will be used up faster okay so in that case what will happen in any other so this glucose glycolysis right there will be lack of oxygen in the muscle tissue so at that time pyruvate will be broken down into two lactic acid and two atp this is the product we are getting so because of this lactic acid in the muscles we will be getting cramps understood shazan rudnan yes ma'am so the animals also uh, like cheetah um then deer right they will be also getting cramps loin here again two molecules of atp we are getting two molecules of pyruvate or pyruvic acid glucose one mole from mo one molecules of glucose what do we get we get two molecules of pyruvate and from that we are getting two molecules of lactic acid plus two molecules of atp in the previous class uh, i have told about the lactic acid right shazan what's its formula c and um, for lactic mam it's it's written over in on three carbon compound it's ch2 and it here okay i'll write not to be put paste what is it ch3 ch c o h and o h so what are the functional group present here shazan i am not getting my note that's why i am not able to answer no 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 you just look at this and tell you have learned about in chemistry right carbon compounds yes ma'am hydro hydrocarbons in that you what is this and this this is carboxylic acid this is the functional and what are what about this oh hydroxy okay okay now we can we can go for the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration tell me the main difference first one in aerobic respiration what happened hmm? it takes place in presence of oxygen right then anaerobic takes place in absence of oxygen and here there will be complete breakdown of food and here partial breakdown yes you can see here here in the simplest form we are getting carbon dioxide right water and energy but here we are getting ethanol right it is not that simple then carbon dioxide and atp here we are getting lactic acid the atp so in these both cases there is partial breakdown of food not complete breakdown here yeah. understood shazan rudnan yes ma'am so in product in aerobic respiration what is that energy energy yeah energy atp is there Yes. and we are talking about the differences what is that carbon dioxide and water right in this case end product for yeast it is carbon dioxide 
and ethanol and in the muscle cells in animal what we are getting lactic acid okay and this in any product you have to remember okay for muscle you can say muscle lactic right lack of oxygen in muscles because we are doing more exercise right so that's why we are getting lactic acid you can remember that way and the yeast we have we'll be getting fruit is smell nice smell alcohol smell right so from that you can say from the experiment and in the aerobic you it is for all organism you uh, you will be knowing the simplest thing co2 water and the energy okay now now here what's the difference again for in case of energy in aerobic air, respiration what how it produces right more amount of energy right how much is it atp but here in this case less energy to it okay got it so one question the breakdown of pyruvate to give carbon dioxide water energy takes place in where is this breakdown taking place where is this process taking place which organelles okay can i give you choice cytoplasm mitochondria chloroplast nucleus shazan rutnin anyone in mitochondria okay now we'll talk about the respiration in plants so plants also need energy right so how do the plants get energy they get it by respiration and here they use oxygen from air and release carbon dioxide so the respiration in plants what does it involve it involves exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide and so this oxygen and carbon dioxide are called respiratory gases so there are difference in respiration in plants and in the animals how it is difference in plants right all parts of plants like roots stem and leaves right they perform respiration individually okay um um and in animals how do they perform they perform uh, respiration a single unit okay all parts in single unit ma'am the color is not visible i am not able to see okay um, animals now it is visible so in the respiration in plants there is little transport of respiratory gases okay and uh, in the animal right there will be respiratory gases are transported over long distances longer distances also respiration in plants they occur at slow rate slowly slow i mean it is fast so how do plants get oxygen they get it by diffusion oxygen by diffusion first is respiration in roots so the air is present between the particles of soil okay and what will happen here is the root of the plant will take oxygen from that air particles right here is where is it present it is present in between particles of soil so what will happen here the the roots of the plants they'll take up the oxygen from the uh, soil okay so um so uh, whenever you um add more water in a plant right what will happen plants will die right to add more water so the air particles will will not be able to get inside the plants roots that's why it happens okay and understood shazan yes ma'am yes ma'am sir so here how it will happen by diffusion through the root here the roots will be having this is suppose this is our tree right root here will be present right from here only of of um, what is this diffusion will take place okay this oxygen will be taken up by the roots here 
after that it will get inside the root now in this stem for the herbaceous plants right what uh, they have stomata and for the woody plants there is lenticel present for herbaceous herbs okay plants soft plants right soft stem those plants which have soft stem they are herbaceous plant and they have stomata right which will help in exchange of gases and in the woody woody plants stems okay stems will be having lenticels here only the exchange of gas will take place so here in this woody plants the oxygen from the air right will diffuse uh, diffuse into the stem of the woody plants and uh, from there from from diffuse through the lenticels okay and after that it will reach all the internal structure internal cells of the stem, stem for respiration okay now respiration in leaves how will this happen this will happen through the stomata leaves will be containing stomata through this exchange of gas will happen oxygen and carbon dioxide so also you have to note that the respiration in leaves right they will occur in in day also also in the night also okay so the respiration in leaves occurs during the day time as well as at night and photosynthesis it occurs only during day time so during day time what will happen when photosynthesis occur oxygen will be produced right and uh, so the leaves will use this oxygen for respiration and uh, after that they will diffuse out the oxygen into the air okay again day time this carbon dioxide will be produced by the uh, respiration right and it will be used up in the photosynthesis so from that uh, more oxygen will be taken so the net gas exchange will be this is during day during day mm. net gas exchange will be in leaves we are talking about the leaves oxygen will diffuse out oxygen will go out okay that's why we breathe oxygen right when we go uh, in the uh, morning it is pure and carbon dioxide will be taken in diffuses okay and what happens at night night there will be no photo photosynthesis so what will happen no oxygen will be produced so oxygen from the air will be diffused into the leaves and um, through this the respiration will be carried out and what will happen here the net gas exchange what will be oxygen will come in inside the plasm plant oxygen will be taken by the plants and carbon dioxide will be given out okay understood any doubts here that's why they all, um, they all tell you to uh, go out in the morning because air will be fresh more oxygen will be given out and here the plants will give out in the night they will give out carbon dioxide okay carbon dioxide is not beneficial to beneficial to us okay rudhanani any doubt rudhanani uh, you have uh, you didn't come in the previous class okay for that you can watch video if you have any doubt you can ask me and shazan you told me right you um, you didn't take one class right shazan ma'am that was ma'am that was the previous one previous class yeah. and the previous class which i attended before that one class i have not attended for yeah. this class. Uh, okay uh, what i will do if um, after completing this yes, the whole chapter yes. right yes. all the, the chapters yes. i will take again for you okay okay the the lecture which i missed yeah okay thank you any doubt here ma'am this one is clear okay now next we will have the respiration in animal so safia you were not there safia and rudnil 